Hello everyone, today I'm gonna showcase some um, build I made in Minecraft just recently. Actually, before we begin, make sure to subscribe and like! I'm just kidding, I am just wanted to say that I'm using a shader for this whole showcase. I just thought it would look cool, and honestly I agree that it looks really cool. I'm using a shader, and I would say this shader really makes Minecraft a lot more majestic and realistic. It's time to do the actual showcase. The, this, the name of this house is the Bull House. I gave it its name because I like put horns on the sides of the houses as you'll see soon. This is the entrance of the house. Kind of underwhelming, I know. But again, I made this whole thing in survival. So materials and time were pretty limited. This is the, ent the, like, the real entrance to the house. I think it's a lot more majestic because you have this towering house along with being surrounded by bamboo along and again with this little arched entrance i think this is the more official entrance to the building i think it looks really neat it's just very nice so as you can see there's the horns of the houses which is why i gave the name to the house a bull house that i just thought it was pretty funny yeah first i'm gonna try to give you like a tour of the house on the inside and I'll just try to use scaffolding, as you can see over here, to show you the outside of the house. Let's begin! So, um, this is the main lobby of the house. These are like the sides, you can see the windows right here. There's nothing much to see other than like these beautiful bamboo. I don't know why, I really like bamboo. Um, these are mainly the sides of the house. This is also the back area of the house. I didn't get to really flesh this back area out but the main concept was that maybe you could have like some crops right here and or just have like a nice area to sit down and just taking the view enclosed by the bamboo and this these balconies right here going back inside now this is supposed to be like the lobby area there could be like seats and tables i didn't really add any stuff here because i didn't have like the time or blocks to put here also sorry about the lag i'm like at 30 fps the shaders even though i have a good computer the shaders still take a lot of resources anyway so this is the technically the second floor this is like the real area where you can walk around this is like the back balcony which is pretty neat you can just see like the mountains over there oh which are so pretty dude i really wish i could like fly over and show you guys maybe in a different video i can just have shaders just have a video with chill music just flying around in an elytra showing you the beautiful things of minecraft these are this is just like the smelting area the crafting floor where i cook stuff and smelt iron ingots or whatever then i can save them here pretty simple just the crafting area i can also craft here ideally i would also have some anvils or whatever stone cutters i think that's a thing and anything that involves making things like tools new blocks and just crafting more things so yeah this is the back balcony and this is the front balcony there's a village over there i don't you can't really see it because of the render distance but that's a village of like some pe other people because this is like a public server so you can actually see the whole village from the balcony right here which i think it's a pretty good view especially since you're up on a mountain you can literally see like many of the details of the rivers another portal over there the towers and the vi tiny village over there overall everything is really cool so yeah this is the first floor going to well not the first floor the second floor now this is the third floor this is the storage area basically storing a bunch of blocks and stuff this is just mainly to keep where you keep your things just want to have a floor where it's basically everything you save um this is another balcony right here the reason it has no fences over here because ideally i want to like hop off with my elytra just want to have like a clear gateway so i can just fly off into the horizon and since i have the height due to the mountain and being on the third floor i don't need fireworks to gain speed with my elytra so that's pretty nice it's like a reusable method of flying you do need to like grind creepers or paper or whatever this is also the back area again as you can see you can see nice views from here you can kind of see like the birch forest from down here you can also see the a jungle from down here and another mountain over there 
It's so beautiful. If this place existed in real life, I would love living here. Going to the fourth floor, which is just the safe area, just the bedroom. There's like two beds here. It's literally no one else living here. It's just me at the moment. But like you can have up to like four beds over here. Maybe have like a lectern placed somewhere here or something. Or you can even have like beds right here in this gla in these glass floors. Just if you're inviting people over to your house. But yeah, this is like the last floor and I think it's pretty cool. You can just chill. You, ch you can also just look out the window and just admire the view of Minecraft right here. Who knows what's out there. And this other side as well. You can see the birch forest and a part of the jungle down there. So yeah, that's the main like layout of the house. Some details I want to point out. I made most of these floors out of glass because I want you to be able to like see what's down below you. This house is pretty compact in terms of like you don't have much area to room other than up and down. So like I still want to give the player an ability to like be able to connect all the floors together and I think it makes the house overall more accessible and more ideally open in each floor. As you can see you have these stripped logs. They are like support beams of the house ideally. You have like these support main support beams that like go all the way up to the house from the bottom and then you have these like horizontal ones in which help giving it horizontal support of the entire house. It would make a lot more sense to keep the rule of oh I'm gonna have support beams integrated with the floors of the houses in each floor. And I think it does add to the aesthetic and general like design of the house. The only issue I would think I would have with the house that I could improve for next time it's just trying to get up from a floor to another floor, like just using ladders. I feel like ladders, they are nice as long as you don't use overuse them because they become really annoying to travel with because of how slow climbing ladders are. That's the only issue with this entire house, but other than that, I think it's fine. These redstone lamps right here, they actually are powered by daylight sensors. They usually turn on when it's nighttime, which it is right now and then turn off when it's daytime, like solar panels. It's kind of like reusable energy, you know? You also have these lamps right here that are just a nice detail as well. So yeah, that's the main like inside of the house. But how does it look like on the outside, you may wonder. Sadly, I cannot fly because I don't have creative. I'm stuck to survival. Yeah, this is like the main, this is like the view of the house right here. So you have the first floor down there, it's like a tiny little stone base and made of mud bricks as well. And then you have these like little tented roofed areas. I think it looks really cool. Like they look very natural. It looks like a little cloth piece. That's how I view the roofs as. But yeah, this is the back of the house. It's pretty similar to the front. The only true difference is just that the balconies are a little different in shape. But other than that, it's pretty similar. I really like how there's like horns on the sides. I don't know why I added them. I just thought it would be a personality trait of the entire house. It's just the horns. It looks it makes the house overall look more menacing. I added like a small little detail of like a golden ring on one of the horns. I also added like lanterns falling like traping over the horns. Give me your opinions in the comments whether you like this or not but yeah this is like back of the house. At the top there's also little posts that extrude all the way up with lightning rods at the very top. The main idea was that like whenever it starts getting like a thunderstorm, thunder would just like hit the lightning rods and it would just make the house even more menacing because like oh you have this house and lightning is shooting at it. Lightning is just centered on that house but yeah, it's like the whole basis of the house right there. This is the side of the house. I really like how natural the framing of the house is. You have these dark oak frames, just part of the roof, and it looks really natural. I added some small buttons over the stripped logs, which are the support beams. Just thought it would be a nice detail. And as you can see, I also added like some small like grass areas for flowers and like small natural decoration. Again with like the there's lanterns on the sides as well. The other side of the house literally looks the same. There's literally no difference other than like the angle of the ambience. But that's it's pretty much the same on the other side. Let's see if I can get like a better view of the house from here. 
Yeah, look at that, it's really cool. I mean, other than the stupid scaffold blocking the way, but... I hope you guys were able to see just enough of the house. As I said, I really wish I could be in creative mode. Maybe the next time I make a house, I'll just make it on single player rather than like a server. But yeah guys, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you like this build? Is there something you could, should change about it? I know that like, ooh, the shaders are kind of tricking you into making it look pretty and stuff. Let me turn off the shaders actually. This is how the house mainly looks. It's a lot less majestic. It's just playing Minecraft. This is how the house just really looks like without shaders or anything. It's pretty basic, but I think the house still looks pretty cool. Yeah, tell me what you guys think about like this house. If you guys have any suggestions on how I could improve it, share them in the comments. Just don't be afraid. But that's pretty much it, everyone. I have to go. Thank you everyone for coming. And for this last clip, I'm just gonna show you the house. Well, it's just simply raining.